happening. Well, now, more than six million people tuned in to watch the premiere of Lifetime movies Flowers in the Attic this past winter. So back by popular demand, this coming Monday, the network will premiere the sequel to the blockbuster movie, Petals on the Wind. And here to tell us all about it is the lovely, adorable, star with the most charming <laughs> accent. Look at her. <laughs> Look up cute in the dictionary and you're going to see Rose McIver. <laughs> You've just impressed everybody in the studio so much. What a treat to meet you. Well, thank you so much for having me. Tell us about Petals on the Wind. Petals on the Wind is the sequel to Flowers in the Attic and it's coming out next week. So I'm very excited for everybody to check it out. Yeah, but let's talk about the response. Flowers in the Attic is this beloved, I told you, I used, I read it when I was younger and mm. I was obsessed with the book. And the response that you got from, from the first movie, from Flowers in the Attic, mm -hmm. now people were demanding almost for this movie to be made. And you play Kathy. Can you tell us a little bit about her? Sure thing. I play Kathy and I am taking over from Ken and Shipka who plays Kathy in Flowers in the attic. Yep. She's 13, so we pick up the story 10 years later. Um, and I am very excited to see what people think of what I've created with this character. I've had a lot of fun with her. Well, I love your accent. <laughs> um, but we do have a little clip. Let's take a look. Julian was right. We are all twisted. The devil didn't make us that way. She did. And now she's going to pay. Whoa, whoa, what was that all about? Well, uh, or can you even <laughs> tell us? I mean, I don't want to give it away. That, that is uh, Kathy kind of at the peak of her confronting what she grew up with. She grew up in very confined circumstances with siblings and a mother that kind of wasn't, wasn't the kindest to her. So she's at the point now where she's ready to enact some revenge. Wow. So what do, what do people connect with with these? Movies. With They're these. so juicy. The books are so juicy, right? Sorry, I just answered. But I mean, for you, her. <laughs> you don't have to grow up in this kind of confined, you know, uh, uh, abusive relationship to enjoy these. Yeah, I think it's. I mean, there's so much that happens to this character. We see her go through these terrible experiences and try to make positive decisions and struggle with her past still haunting her. And I think that's something that we all can experience in our own lives is trying to become somebody else and trying to wear this new jacket and be this new person and still having who we are and where we're from very much be a part of it. Yeah, but there's sex, there's family drama, there's Well, a it new is man, lifetime. You know, I mean, no, and actually, let's <laughs> talk about that. No pressure, but um, what was it? Six million people watched Flowers in the Attic? It had some pretty big numbers, uh, yeah. yeah. I would say so. So, now, I, and I was going to ask you, Petals on the Wind, did you read it before you even... Got um, the script? Unfortunately, I got the script about two weeks before we started shooting, and I I auditioned, and it was all very, very last minute for it to come together, and I had to train for ballet. That was kind of the biggest time time crunch that we had to deal with. So a lot of my time was spent with ballet, with the script, and with working with the director and the other actors. I haven't had a chance to read the books yet. Well, but you know what, though? This is the thing that I love about this, is that your character is going out for revenge. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you really are trying to, like, make things right after what happened in your family. So is that more fun as an actress to play, that person who's really going after people? It's fun to see somebody who has been taken advantage of and had this, like, hard luck fall upon her constantly feeling empowered and trying to seek something else but unfortunately seeking revenge is never really going to make you happy or satisfied so um, although it's good to see her step into herself and, and become strong we don't necessarily see the results that she's looking for. Mm. Did I read somewhere that you had your first movie role when you were three years old? Perhaps. <laughs> and, and, and you've been busy ever since. What, what other projects are you working on right now? At the moment, I have been really busy. This year has been great so far. I um, went back and did a little bit more on Masters of Sex, another show that I work on, and uh, I Zombie is the new show that we've just been picked up. We're very excited for the CW, and we will be um, beginning our season shooting in August, so you can look forward to that next year. And so a lot of, of lot of TV yeah. work then. Yeah, yeah. Been busy with television um, for the last six months, really. Okay, well, John was reading up on you, and I was, too. Is it true that you were a yellow Power Ranger? <laughs> Back in the day. You've been digging, yeah. <laughs> I was indeed, yes. No, but you know what? I'm, 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 I'm intrigued by this, because I have a daughter, mm -hmm. and, you know, they all, there you are as a yellow Power Ranger. By the way, also the Lovely Bones. <laughs> you oh, were yes. great in the Lovely Bones. Oh, thank you. What is the secret to your success? I think young girls see successes like you, and they think it's easy. It's a lot of hard work, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, making sure that you're doing it for the right reasons, that you're working on your craft and you really want to be a storyteller. 
um, is very important and being tenacious, not letting the no's get the better of you. Right, because you hear a lot of no's. A lot of no's. And, and a lot of rejection, <laughs> and you just have to keep on going. Yeah. And now, there's going to be a new Power Rangers movie. Can I ask you if they've even talked to you about doing it? I haven't had the call yet. I'm no? sitting waiting by the phone. But <laughs> apparently, apparently, maybe there's maybe I'm not the top Yellow Power Ranger selection. Oh, so. something tells me you're at the top of the list. Well, Rose McIvers, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And we want to remind everyone, Pedals on the Wind, it premieres this coming Monday night, May 26th. It's 8 p.m. on Lifetime and it is sure to please. So All we can't wait to see it. Thank you so much for having Thank me. You. Had a lot of fun.